Good morning. Good morning. I broke my tripod last night. And uh, there's a joke there somewhere. But uh, it's a little weird. I got to order a new one. So today we're searching Asheville, North Carolina. Yesterday we did Sedona, uh, the capital crystal of crystal warf warf worshipers. Um, so I thought we'd do the East Coast version of North Carolina, Asheville. Um, I've never been there, so I'm making all this shit up. I have no idea. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, right up front, we got listed 51 minutes ago. This is how you find the deals. A deal is not going to last more than an hour, all right? Uh, 1974 CB750 in the sunburst orange. Uh, it appears to be all original and in great shape for it being original. Looks like maybe a little something going on with the exhaust, but anymore, that's not that bad. Um, owned in garage since 1977. Wow. So this might be second owner. Started every week and runs well, but needs some attention. Price is 3500 Here, this is deal of the day. I can already tell you you're not going to find a CB750 all original from the second owner for this price. It's clean. That's one of my favorite colors. That that paint would buff out so nice. Do a cut and buff on it. Uh, the seat cover's fucked up. Just get a, a nice uh, 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 um, a new seat cover for it. Re put the seat cover on. Get rid of the luggage rack and the sissy bar. Go through and clean that bike up. Uh, toss you know some correct tires on there get rid of those highway bars, do a tune-up, and um, you got an $8,000 bike now. Being serious, like you could spend a week worth of attention on there, and it's not a straight week, but you know, order all the parts you need, make a list, go through it. Uh, the bars look original still. Yeah, no dents anywhere. Original paint, you can't beat that anymore. Like. Yeah, 10 years ago, anyone would be like, what, you're paying $3,500 for a CB750? But, dude, there you go. Deal of the day. First, all right, I didn't plan it that way, but all right, let's keep going. What do we got here? 1993 Honda XR250R. These are fantastic bikes. I love them. Uh, I've had a handful of them, probably maybe five. Um, has less than an hour on the rebuild. Ooh, that's not always good, dude. You don't know who did the work. You don't know how long it will last. Um, tore all the way down to the frame and gone through very reliable bike. Needs little to nothing jump on and has a ton of compression firm on the price. Um, before anyone asks, I'm practically giving the bike away already mm, you're, it is a good deal but realistically i don't like i think this is an off-road only model they don't like sometimes you could have got them plated the l models come street legal but i seriously would pass on this bike um because it's been tore into so much you don't know how good this guy is um and you don't know if he forgot to tighten up a bolt or something inside the engine and 90 miles from now, it, it could come loose. I personally would pass on this bike. All right, moving on. Uh, same dude. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, SL100, that's right. The first SL100 to ever roll off the assembly line. And if you know the history, uh, what's going on here? This is total frame off and tear down restoration. No, it's not one. What's going on here? That's not the bike is it? what? Ugh. Oh, ten thousand dollars. OK, sure. Sure, I'll, I'll give you ten thousand dollars. Like, I, what is this? Who is this? Stacy, what's going on with Stacy? bunch of shit probably husband uses hers I don't care if you had your vaccine 
who well there's Stacy or Stacy might be a dude Stacy might have a girl name well I'm kind of that way with my name too so all right what's next uh, 1981 Kawasaki LTD 440 it's a cool bike super clean um pictures are weird because never take pictures from up always uh down at waist level at the bike um i mean it's clean it's cool uh, i like chops and i've built a lot of chops this one look it's great a little funky here and there but um uh, runs great brand new mccuni carbs Completely dialed in, starts runs great, flawlessly. Keep in mind this is bare bone, no front brake, no signals. Okay. Do you want to spend $4,500 on this? That's the hard thing. You don't know this guy, you don't know uh, the quality of work. Um, you don't know any of that, right? The engine was just spray painted um i don't know i it's not to me it's i hate saying it because i i, I grew up building chops and i love them it's, it's not worth forty five hundred dollars it's not it's cool it looks okay but you know why because right now if you held out or if you made ads or you watch ebay you can get a harley chop for $4,500 and I'm not talking to sporty you can get one of those dumb like mad dog school bikes from the 2000s that everyone was paying 20,000 something or even 50,000 for and you can get them for like 8,000 sometimes 5,000 now okay moving on what do we got here 1982 Suzuki DS is actually a GS probably a little typo on his end uh, if you do not take the time to read this ad, do not waste my time messaging me. Parts bike, no title, does not run. I do not know what's wrong with it. It's a $300 take it or leave it. Perfect ad. There you go. Thank you. Uh, is this worth $300? It looks like the, the carbs are missing. If you had the carburetors and you were really wanting to get into a bike and you didn't care if it had a title and you just had to buy a bike and you had your couple stimmy bucks left, go buy this. Fuck it. Why not? $300 and you'll learn it look I think this is a 550 um, there you go like if it has don't do it if there's no carburetors because you'll spend more uh, getting a rack of carbs um, dude Asheville has some really good bikes a lot of good stuff uh, 1975 Kawasaki F7 175 Enduro. The bike does not currently run. It does have a lot of compression. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, is it worth 930? Fuck no. Look at that. Dude, that thing's worth 200 bucks. All right, moving on. Rokon. All right. I love Rokons. I actually have one. Uh, about this era. Uh, $4,500 runs excellent. If you don't know what a Rokon is, it's a old US, it's a US company, they're still around, and it's a two-wheel drive motorcycle. These things are amazing. I think, like the new Rokons look kind of weird. I like these better. Look at all that ground clearance. You can float them across water. Obviously you can't bounce it, but you can just float them. Um, they climb up everything. Go ahead, go down the rabbit hole of these Rokon trail breakers. Um, you'll love seeing the videos. Look at the shifters right there on the left. Big old seat. These things were built. Look at that. How beautiful, huh? So amazing. Uh, runs excellent. Recently rebuilt by Rokon expert Mark Wood. There you go. You know there you're going to get some uh, uh, quality work. Not rebuilt by my uncle who lives in the trailer behind our farmhouse. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Rebuilt engine, rebuilt carb, rebuilt Kickstarter, replace uh, sprockets, new chains, new brake pads, all major components were sent to. All right, there you go. This thing is worth $4,500. Uh, one, it's hard to find these old uh, Rokons. It even has the front rack. That was kind of an aftermarket dealer thing. Um, 
yeah, dude, this thing is worth $4,500. It, I understand it looks old and rough, but it's, it's worth it. And everything's been rebuilt by a professional that you, that has, you know, uh, 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 um, a reputation. So there you go. That's uh, is it deal of the day? No, but it's a very fair price for what it is. All right, moving on. What do we got here? Nine hours ago, 1989, Tomos Racing 45. Um, for $100, I think this is a hipster's wet dream. It has an expansion chamber on it. So someone's been fucking with this forever. Go spend $100 and have fun. There you go. Uh, deal of the day. Kind of, but I'm gonna stick with that Honda CB750. Look, this is a hipster's wet dream. Go get it, have fun, be the cool guy, take some pictures for Instagram. All right, moving on. Got a Scout, uh, 1960 Scout, wow. Um, that's the four cylinder, it's a slant four. Essentially, they just cut half of their V8, you know? Um, International Scout, been sitting, they want $500. I think anymore, this is worth $500. Um, Scouts used to be a dime a dozen back 20 years ago. Obviously that's 20 years ago, not now. Moving on with this, it's rough, but it's worth every bit of $500 if you're into Scouts. All right, moving on. 1980 Suzuki PE250, no trades, no trades, uh, vintage. Late 70s Suzuki PE, motor is not locked up. He wants $800. I would not give $800 for Jesus. Look at this. I wonder if he has more for sale or if just he's like, you know what? I've been thinking about selling that one Suzuki in my whole pile of fucking shit. Man, this shit pisses me off, really. I mean, everyone has their own right to do this like it, he has the right to buy all those motorcycles and crush them that's fine it's just so sad when people just let them sit out and rot like how does this happen how many years why ugh ugh Amy did your husband did he die and now look 2,000 all motorcycles wanted. Oh, you buy? Sold. So this guy buys and sells. This guy is, uh, I think every little country town has one of these guys where um, you kinda, they're shady as fuck, but they come across as cool. like. You know what I'm saying? Like this guy, I would not trust. He's always on a low ball you, always, 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 and he lies. Uh, I'm not saying it's this guy, I don't know this guy, but um, the type of person that I'm thinking about, like you can't trust them, but they come off friendly as fuck, and you know deep down they're a fucking weasel, and they, they, uh, they let motorcycles and everything just rot the fuck, and then they want a top dollar for a piece of shit. So be it, everyone has the right. Um, they're just not my favorite people at all. All right, moving on, 1977, Honda CB. This is a CB750. Uh, once again, 77 and 78 are the, the last two years, and they swap to a little bit wider of a sprocket. The sprocket's offset by 10 mil, so you can do a 20 mil wider rear tire. Has better carbs. I like these style of carbs on the 77, 78, but they do not have the classic looks of the 69 through 76. Um, this one is your normal eBay seat, hoop, LED, this and that. Um, they kind of did the best they can with this model of CB. It looks okay. This is a horribly uncomfortable bike to ride. Um, great bike may trade for vintage station wagon. Total hipster. This is a total fucking hipster. Um, it's cool, 3300. It's not a stupid price, but it's not a good price. It's just whatever, you know? They put a lot of work into it and it looks cool. Whatever, it's, it's still a CB750. Um, all right, moving on. 
Oh boy, okay. Uh, we got a 77, a 76. That's a 77 tank. This isn't a 76. The frame might have 76, built in 76, like a late 76 sticker on it, but it's a 77, you can tell by the seat. Um, and it has Comstars on it too. Um, fresh rebuild, what does that mean? Clean cylinders, I don't know what that means. New crank and run, really? There's a brand new crankshaft in there? Mm, I doubt that. Oh, can crank, not new crank, I'm dumb. Um, and run, but haven't taken it past the driveway, mostly looking to trade, but um, I guarantee you there's no title. Someone tried making a cafe, spray paint frame. Um, hmm, that's odd. So that has the 76 style and earlier carburetors on it. Um, oh, is this a super sport? Yeah, okay, it has a disc brake rear. This might be, what this is, is probably a 1976 Honda Super Sport. Um, i trying to think, did they, did the 76s come with Comstars? The Super Sports? I don't think so. I think someone put these Comstars on there. Um, I wonder if these Comstars, I, when I say Comstars, I mean the wheels, are off oh you know what they are off a of twin cam they're off of a later model look at the the uh disc brakes up front so that's probably a later model twin cam front end and a and a, a rear end on there um i would not touch this at all this is just a headache in the making um for fifteen hundred dollars no i would give like two hundred dollars for this and i know the owner would what two hundred but like dude you're it's a headache this is a complete fucking headache. Ugh, yeah, moving on. <clears throat> what do we got here? Oh, this is awesome. Oversprayed with starting fluid and caught fire. Was only on fire for less than a minute. <laughs> I wonder if your arm got, if your arm caught on fire, you'd be like, ah, it was less than a minute. What's the matter? Dude, a minute on fire is a long fucking time. All right, was only on fire for less than a minute. I'm no, I'm no sure what the run issue is, but I'm thinking it needs new spark plugs and the carbs clean. This bike does not currently run, 2K. Um, 1972, so, wow, uh, this is cool. I would not want to ride it. I mean, it's restorable back to original condition. It really is. Um, nothing's cut. You can put a regular seat on there, get rid of the horrible sissy bar. Um, I wonder if that's the factory pan or aftermarket fiberglass pan, uh, the seat pan. The tank looks fine. I'm sure there's some Bondo on there because it's been repainted. Um, and at first I thought it had a little bit longer forks on it. I think it does have like two inch over forks on it. it kind of looks like it. It's got the chopper exhaust from back in the day. This is cool simply due to um, like someone back in the 70s or 80s made it kind of chopperish, but it's not, you know. Um, probably some tweak in there a bit along the lines, uh, um, along the, you know, the existence of it. There's no air box. You still can get those for pretty cheap on eBay if you're wanting to go back to stock. Doesn't say anything about a title. Is this worth $2,000? No, it's not. Um, I think this is worth 800. How much would you give? Like really, it doesn't run, it caught on fire uh, and there's no title. Not much. All right, moving on. Uh-oh, what do we got going on here? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Did none of these load? Okay, we're back to there. Oh, oh okay, here we go. Uh, super nice, 1969 Honda CT70. This is the Trail 70s. Uh, fully restored Honda 70. This bike is very nice condition. It looks really, uh, bike has 60 miles since restoration, all lights. Yes, I do have a title. Please no lowball offers. Thirty nine hundred dollars. 
okay, it's beautiful and these have skyrocketed in price. Is this worth $3,900? I don't know the market, but I think that's very, very high. Um, would you ever give $4,000 for a little toy, even though it's been restored? I should fuck wouldn't. It'd be hard for me to give, I would give 15 for this, just simply no, because I could flip it for a bit more. But the, if I had to spend $1,500 on a motorcycle to have a bike, would I be buying this? No. Like, I don't know what happened with these CT70s. All of a sudden, everyone thinks they're gold, and obviously people are paying money for them. Um, I don't know. They're cool, but like for the price to coolness factor and utility, like, whatever. Yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, what do we got? Suzuki GS1100G. Um, so this is uh, the turd of the Suzuki's amongst uh, their early 80s. All right. Let's read, I'll explain why here in a bit. Paint in good shape, handlebars and hand controls has rust from sitting in carport. Have clean title, come get it today. $1,600, uh, this guy did a paint job that he's in love with. He did the normal, I'm um, hacking off the back of the butt, mounting a uh, fender on it. Uh, I think that's just a bit of the old fender mounted down here. Sure, looks like shit. Um, a little eBay seat, that's a $30 eBay seat that he just bolted directly to it. Um, once again, these bikes, when everyone just cuts off the back and puts a little seat, solo seat on there, which this guy had done at the age of, how old was I? 22, on my first street bike when I first started building shops. So I can't knock it, everyone does it. It just looks like shit. Um, so, this bike was once a complete bike. And anyways, back to why this is a turd of a bike. So this in the early 80s, Suzuki uh, swapped to a 16 valve engine. Uh, it, right here up on top on the side of the, uh, the valve cover where the mouse is right now, there's two uh, um, circles. Those are the ends of your valve cover. That's a, that indicates an eight valve engine. And if you see rectangles, that's a 16 valve engine. That's just the easy way to go about it, right? So this is still in the early 80s when they're now producing the 16 valves, but this is a turdy, depowered eight valve engine that's left over from the mid 70s. And by the way, they could, there's no more kickstart. You can see uh, there used to be a kickstart assembly here, but factory, they didn't put it in anymore. So like the 750s had it and stuff like that. So even though this is 1100, yes, it's a turd though. Uh, this bike all around is a turd, uh, $1,600. Good luck, it won't happen. Um, I do wish the best for him. Who knows, he might get it for 15. Who knows, some dude might be like, fuck yeah, I got 1500, I'm gonna go ride that. I could be wrong, I might be jaded. All right, moving on. 1971 Ford Mustang, $3,500 is correct price. Uh, how cool, huh? I like those years, no engine, no nothing. Um, this is an incredible opportunity, not a rust bucket, no transmission, no, so build, you're buying a body, boys. $3,500 gets you that body. I don't know, you into it, go do it. Nuts, nuts, Ugh, that's so much work. This is absolutely, I, I preach this about Honda Goldwings and a lot of other bikes, just save up the money and buy the one that's up and going already. This is the same here. If you think you're gonna get this for, let's say you get it for $3,000 and let's say your uncle has a 302 and a C4 transmission sitting behind the shop, you will still have to do so much fucking work to get this thing up and going at all. I mean, yeah, I guess you can toss a drivetrain in it and just drive it, but dude, there is so much that will go into this. All right, moving on. Uh, 1986 Honda Shadow, some of Honda's ugliest bikes ever made. Completely bobbed out, I can't wait to see this. Uh, runs and drives great, needs nothing, 2000 or best offer or trade, let me know what you have or your offer. I do have clean Tennessee title for the motorcycle. I like how people like to trade, I love trading. Um, ooh, boy. 
Ugh. 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 Dude. Should have left it alone. You just made it look ugly. And how's that passenger seat just right onto the tire? I know there's a little fender there, but every time that tire hits, it's gonna be thrown her. And by the way, do you think this guy's wife or old lady, one, does he even have an old lady? And two, is she small enough to sit on that? And three, is homeboy small enough? Look how small that seat is. Like I, I've built some goofy stuff before. I, I can't talk shit because I am talking shit, but I've built some dumb, goofy stuff. Look how big that, what is that? Like, I mean, whatever. I'm just gonna tell myself quit hating, but it's kind of part of the show, right? Get the hate on everything. It's all fun. Uh, this bike looks like ass. Um, it reminds me of uh, 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 definitely white trash, but uh, some work ethic. They're not lazy. Uh, just no, like I guarantee you, there is, inside his house there is a, a deer mount and a live laugh love somewhere. You know. All right, moving on. What do we got here? 1980 Honda CM uh, 200 starts up, runs great. Electric start. New wheels, new tires, great beginner project bike. Another bike sacrificed to the eBay gods. That is a hideous headlight. Um, honestly, if you did something, what is up with that fucking headlight? Did he just, it reminds me of those old medical masks that look like a bird beak or so. Um, okay. Oh, 2700. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Um, if this bike would look so much better just with the stock headlight on it, what the fuck happened here? Um, and if they were selling it for $1,500 with the stock headlight, I'd say this is a pretty cool fucking bike. Um, all right, there's that. Moving on. I gotta wrap this up. Uh, 1975 CL360, title in hand. That's a cool bike. They cut off the exhaust, put some mufflers. That's all right, whatever. Um, just reacquired my first street legal motorcycle. Oh, that's cool. Uh, okay. Recently rebuilt with rare OEM. Get the fuck out of here. Um, okay, so they've gone through everything. This is a good... Okay, so uh, for the most part, this bike looks like it's ready to go. They've done a lot of work. It's super clean. I love the color. It's a great bike. How much? 3,100. Dude, if you can snag that for 28, Fucking great. There you go. You're up and running. This is, okay, this is the prime example. Say you can get this for 28. They want 31, but let's say hey, you can get it for 28 or whatever, right? Now you're looking at another one that doesn't really run. They want $1,500 for it. Do you think it's, what's going to take you uh, a shorter amount of time? You working and saving up another $1,300 and buying a bike of this standard? or you buying that piece of shit for 1500 and thinking you're gonna restore it. You're not, let's be honest. You're not gonna get it to this condition in the time that you want and in the, the budget, the financial budget that you want as well. All in all, I'm, t I'm trying to save you guys money and time and more enjoyment in your life. Save up a couple thousand more or even a thousand more dollars and just buy the better bike. For real, it, that's, and then down the road, once you get your mechanical skills and everything up, if you want to get a project, do it. But don't buy a project bike if you're thinking that you're going to get it up and ride it and you have this dream in your head. I'm tr I don't want to shit on your dream. I'm actually trying to save you. Just save up another thousand dollars and buy the bike that's up and running with no issues first. It's the best in the long run, okay? All right. Deal of the day. $3,500 for this all original CB750 that's been taken well care of. Yeah, you, you can, like I said, you can spend a week worth of work on this and flip it for, eh, I said eight, that might be a little high, but at least six to seven. And, and especially this color, this condition, everything. Yeah, if you want a true CB750, go buy this one. Okay guys, later.